All right, folks. This is a uh, this is Brian Dunker again, and uh, about every two years, maybe a little over, I do a updated video to the original video in 2012 uh, about the sex fender issue, and uh, I'm a little over the two year mark now, so I figured it's about time that I go ahead and do another one update everybody on what's going on on it well let's see here I uh, I got married uh, April 15 2017 uh, my wife lost her job immediately uh, on the premises that she married uh, without her uh, workplace's permission and in the uh, in the uh, paperwork and everything it stated just that stated that she got that they fired her because she married a known sex offender uh, she had worked this job for 14 years she worked at a uh, youth shelter um, well they were uh, they were worried about their image within the community. And so they fired her for it. Well, they put the reason for firing her all in the paperwork and everything. And then turned around when she filed for her unemployment, tried to deny it. Um, which was funny, but the unemployment uh, hearing committee or whatever it is, they uh, read right through that and they just, nah, they wouldn't have it, no part of it. They approved her immediately so on and so forth. I've been, uh, I've talked to one or two lawyers and, uh, but it was over in, uh, in the town where the main youth shelter is because there's a few of them around, uh, around this part. And, uh, I, I got the feeling that they had some connection with the youth shelter and so I decided not to even go with them but then I never did follow through and hire an attorney. So, I still need to get that done before, I. Uh, before time runs out, but I don't know if I will or not. Uh, moving on, I uh, the Lord blessed me uh, with a trade deal, and I acquired a piece of property, and I was able to flip it and make a nice little chunk of change on it, enough that I was able to hire an attorney to uh, I reopen the juvenile case. And I what they're trying to do right now, and uh, before I go any further, just for those of you have, who haven't watched any of the other videos, there is three other videos. There's one in 2012, one in 2014, one in 2016. Now, this will be the fourth one here in 2018. All uh, right. Anyway, let's see, where was I here? No oh boy. Give me a second. I kind of got ahead of myself here. Well, I'll just kind of start over a little bit. I've hired a, uh, oh, that's where I was, um, to re, it, as a part of reopening the case, the first thing that the attorney is going to do is, uh, oh, that's what I was saying. To, for those of you who haven't watched any of my other videos, I have a label of a sex offender hanging over my head. However, it was all a juvenile matter. I'm not going to give the story again. I've given that story in, in uh, previous videos, but uh, in the state of Oklahoma, being I was a juvenile, I do not have to register as a sex offender. Um, I am not uh, titled as a sex offender in Oklahoma. However, if a Google search is done on me, the label of sex offender does come up. So, but anyway, being that I don't have to register as a sex offender in Oklahoma, given it was a juvenile matter, I moved to Oklahoma, and I have no intentions of moving away from Oklahoma until my name gets cleared. Anyway, I, like I, going back to what I was saying now, I did hire an attorney in Illinois uh, to reopen the case, and the first step is trying to get me removed from that list. The next step um, is trying to get everything squashed as if it never happened. However, 
Uh, while the first part of it may only take a year or so, the second part's probably going to take, God, probably 10, 15 years. I'm not even going to try to kid myself on that one. That it's going to be an easy, simple process or anything like that. By the way, I roll my own cigarettes. I don't do drugs. That is not a joint you see in me smoke. Anyway, I... Uh, so, moving on a little bit, um, I went through a three-year depression. I didn't hardly leave my house much at all. I, I was pretty much uh, mentally comatose from everything that had happened. Uh, the beatings, the shooting, the whole legal case, losing everything I own, losing families, and uh, I just fell into a three-year depression. And uh, finally, the Lord started pulling me out of it. And next thing I know, he starts giving me a lot of songs. And I write these songs. And I, <coughs> so moving on a little bit, <coughs> then I, I find my wife and I marry her. And then I uh, end up doing a trade deal on some property, acquired that property, sold it. And then that's how I hired the attorney. Plus, I was able to afford to... Uh, buy and build my own studio right here in my house. I don't know if I can, let me see if I can show it to you any at all. It's The studio's a mess because I haven't used it in a while. Uh, till today, this is the first time in a while. But, um, anyway, eh, I'm kind of moving fast, whatever. But this is my studio. And I have put, I have uh, created a CD. I... Uh, <laughs> with my songs talking about everything I went through in life. I uh, they're inspirational, they're spiritual, they're cons I uh, I uh, cons uh, what's the word? secular all combined into one. I keep it real 100. <coughs> I don't lie a bit, nothing is fabricated. Um Anyway, all these video or all these uh, songs, I uh, I say videos, but they're songs, uh, and I have put music to it because of the studio and everything. Uh, anyway, it's kind of a I don't even know how to describe my music. I've been told that I'm ahead of my time. My music is very unorthodox. Um, I don't believe anybody else. I mean, there's some that come close. But there's nobody else to it that has wrote like like I do. Um, anyway, uh, let's see here. So this CD is called Kicking Mud Unorthodox. Uh, my stage name is Outlaw Reform. You can find me here on the YouTube. I have a uh, playlist on here. You can type in Outlaw Reform and find the playlist. There are 16 songs on the playlist. I... Uh, to include kicking up mud more than my 4x4, a flip switch, the struggles of this road I'm on, uh, for my blood, coincide, murder, suicide, catch me if you can, it's not too late, living in paradise, out in the open, riches and fame, some hearts are fake, suicide today, the backslidden side of me, for the industry about me, and, uh, oh, burn this town, and then, uh, oh shoot, there is one other song, Gosh, dog it, I don't even remember what I named it, and I don't have it on this list right here, but I, uh, it's, hold on, I have it right here, I think. Oh, uh, in the uh, song 15 is called Heart Check. Well, anyway, uh, uh, let's see, there's 16 songs on the, on the disc, 16 is Burn This Town, and uh, Burn This Town I can tell you right from the gate, it's going to be a very controversial song. I'm going to take a lot of slack for that song. Um, some of these songs could potentially get me killed. Some could start a lawsuit. Some could start a riot. It's not what I'm looking to do. I'm not looking to start no riots. I'm not looking to uh, actually burn the town. But if a person that, on that last song called Burn This Town, I actually debated for the longest time <clears throat> rather to put that song on the first CD or not. I 
I had that song vaulted, and I kept telling everybody I was going to do it. But the more I kept talking to God and everything, the more I kept feeling like I was supposed to do it. Because the fact of the matter is, I talk about being a martyr for change. No matter the consequence to myself, no matter what, I'm going to speak out, speak for the truth, speak for the underdog, keep it real. And so, in the end picture, I went ahead and opted to unbolt that song and go ahead and put it on the CD. Now, if people ain't paying attention, which nobody yet to date has actually paid attention, I've had to explain it to everybody. So, people that don't know me listening to the song, well, this is what they're going to say. I can't believe he just said that. He just said the name of the town. He just said he's going to burn this town and la da 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 No, that's not what I said. Listen to the song in full. That's not what I said at all. I, burning this town is a metaphor for I'm going to take this town and I'm going to end up owning it and then I'm going to... Uh, the, the town, the name of the town is Eufaula and they got this thing going on called Vision Eufaula to revamp the town. And I talk about, I'm going to end up owning this town when it's all said and done and make Vision Eufaula my own redevelopment. And after I say that, I say I'm going to burn this town and, uh, oh, oh no, I say I'm going to, I talk about, uh, I'm going to own this town, and then I go on after that to say I'm going to burn this town and make Vision Eufaula my own redevelopment. People want to just assume from without actually listening, and they just hear that one line, that I intend on burning this town. Well, if that's what they want to take from this video, so be it. Let them act a fool and go file a lawsuit. Hey, it'll only give me the opportunity to get my get my message out more because once the lawsuit breaks out, well, guess what? All of a sudden, I'm going to be on national freaking TV as the case unfolds in a freaking federal courtroom. Well, anyway, there's another song, uh, song 15 called Heart Check. And uh, basically, long story short, I call anybody... Uh, a pussy that belongs to a gang. You know, take it as you want. You want to kill me for it? Here I am. I'm out in the open. I ain't hiding. It ain't hard to find me. My address should be able to be found pretty easy with a Google search. I'm trying to be a... Uh, I, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? I uh, advocate for changes within the juvenile laws, uh, amongst other things. I'm attempting to be an inspirational speaker. I hope that my videos and lyrics in my songs and all that help at least a few people along the way. <coughs> <clears throat> well, I think I kind of went off course a little bit with what I was doing here in this video. Uh, basically, I was giving an update to my life. The, uh, the, the, the main points is, I never thought I'd meet a woman and get married. Well, I mean, I had no doubts I'd meet women periodically, but they all wanted to leave as soon as they found out about that label. I finally found a lady that... Uh, that was able to see past that, see the truth. And uh, she told me, she says, probably in all honesty, the only reason she was able to was because she worked for that youth shelter and she seen uh, things that the average person couldn't see. And, uh, but you know, from working for that shelter. And so she was able to understand my life, basically. So... Point one, I got married finally. Point two, I've hired an attorney to reopen this juvenile matter. Point three, I've uh, created a CD with 16 songs on it. And uh, I continue every day the best that I can 
to uh, to speak out and not only help myself in the sense of uh, getting this matter resolved and getting this label off my head, but to speak out for others in the same position that I'm in. Because the truth of the matter is, with me speaking out, is it really going to help me to get this label off my head? <coughs> nope, ain't going to help me a lick. Because, basically, I'm blasting myself. So, by blasting myself and putting it all over the place, telling my story, everybody's going to know. How could it help me to get, get the issue resolved? Well, time will tell really in truth what will happen. God has a plan. He has a reason for everything in life. I can sit here and whine and cry all day long like I have in the past, like I have in past videos, talking about woe is me, how life is so unfair. Truth of the matter is, though, I don't think I would change a whole lot. That may sound horrible, but reason being is everything I've been through up to date has made me the person I am today. It has made me the person that listens to God. Not only do I listen to Him, but I do my darndest, no matter how hard it is, to try to do as He directs me to do. Hence the reason for the music. Hence the reason for me putting the songs on YouTube already, not charging a dime. I don't get paid on YouTube. I don't... I don't see a dime of revenue off of anything. Yes, I have copyrighted my songs, you know, because I don't know. I just felt I needed to. I felt it was the right thing to do. But I ain't charging a thing for my music. It's right there on YouTube for everybody to listen to. I'm not trying to make a dime. All I want to do is get my word out or get the Lord's word out, get the message out, try to help others along the way, try to give inspiration. I'm hoping that my music will uh, will give others inspiration. I'm hoping that <clears throat> when people feel suicidal, they can turn on my music and be like, listen to it and be like, oh, God. Man, did this dude really go through all this? You know what? Let me Google this. Let me. See. I want to see the newspaper articles. I want to see, did this, did this dude really go through everything he writes about in his songs, talks about in his songs? And when it's discovered through your searches that everything I speak of in my songs is 100% fact in regards to my own personal life, then I hope that it brings you some comfort and enjoyment listening to that music, knowing that there's somebody else out there that's been through the exact same things as you have. And for that reason, I wouldn't change a thing. If it keeps one person from killing themselves and sending themselves to their own grave and sending themselves to hell, it was all worth it. Every bit of it. Anyway, I, I would encourage you, uh, and, and let me, now that I have talked about uh, not charging anything for the music, while it's true that it is on YouTube and I don't receive a dime off of any of it, there is a way that I could get paid off of it, and you guys, oh shoot, doggone it, hold on, if you can see this, hold on a second, I gotta, I lost my screen here, oh doggone, what in the world happened here, oh man, okay, I'm still recording, alright, good. Anyway, I, there is a way I can get paid, and it won't cost you as the viewer a dime. <coughs> if I, I forget what YouTube said when I was reading the monetization uh, deal, but I have to get so many uh, views and likes on each video within six months or a year's time, and if I don't get it, then that six months or a year's time starts all over again, and then I have to get so many views and likes again after that. 
in order to stand a chance of actually monetizing my videos in order to receive any kind of pay off of it. But even then, it's only going to be, I think, a half a penny per view, if that. <coughs> um, so, uh, but it would help me in order to continue on, because I do actually have more songs that ain't produced yet. I've got more songs that I haven't even copyrighted. Nobody knows about them. They're, uh, they're vaulted at the moment. Only I know about them. Hell, even my wife don't even know about them. Um, so I do have more songs to create, but it does take money to create them. And I would love to be able to put videos with these songs, because for me, when I'm watching a song or listening to a song on YouTube, to be able to watch a music or to be able to watch a video with the music, I don't know what it is, but man, it just makes the song that much more powerful. So I would love to be able to put videos to my songs, but to do so, that takes money. So I'm hoping to eventually be able to get these, uh, get YouTube monet monetized so that I can start bringing in some revenue so that I can start doing better productions. Right now, I'm an amateur, all right? My songs, or the music to my songs, and maybe even the way I sing them, right at the moment, because I'm new at this and doing everything 100% uh, on my own, Nobody has chipped in a dime. I haven't went to an actual studio. I built, bought and built my own studio. I produced all my own music. Um, I uh, produced all my own labels on the seat on the CDs themselves. Matter of fact, I got got a sample right here. <coughs> this is my CD. Let's see if I got a uh, case here. Well. This is a uh, this is this is a uh, unfolded uh, uh, CD label, and then I've got well it doesn't matter, but then I've got CD cases here. I, I do I've done the entire production 100% myself, printed off the labels, printed the uh, labels onto the CDs, produced the music, produced the words. Everything is 100% me and God's production all right now if i can get some help if i can if i get a little bit of money coming in my way in order to help things in order to be able to pay people to help me out production is going to be amazing i would love to be able to i uh, bring my music to concert i uh, i'd love to be able to give some inspirational words at, at concerts i'd love to be able to go around a Anywhere that somebody wants to to say, hey, you know, we'd like like you to come and speak for us. I want to be an inspirational speaker. I don't care to make no money on it. All I want to do is make sure that my expenses are paid because I'm not made of money. Matter of fact, I you know, live paycheck to paycheck just like everybody else. And uh, But, like I said, I don't care to make anything off of it. I just want to get the message out there. That's where my true passion lies is getting messages out, getting some inspiration out. You know, would it be nice to make a little bit of money on the, you know, on, on some of this at some point? I'm sure it would. I won't lie. But that's not the, that's not the focus of it. Anyway, point is, I, I would be very, very grateful if y'all would go and uh, type in Outlaw Reform onto this YouTube. Find my playlist titled Kicking Mud, <clears throat> Kicking Mud Unorthodox, and I uh, view each song. I, I, and the longer each song is viewed, the, the better chances also that I have, because I've got to have so many hours of watch time uh, by the YouTube audience. So the longer and the more you guys watch these videos, the more, the quicker YouTube is going to want to monetize me. So I would be very grateful for any of that. I'd be very grateful for as many likes and and loves. Click on the heart button. Yeah, YouTube has. I discovered a, that they have a heart button. You can even check. You can check the thumbs up, thumbs down, or heart. I beg of you. Unless you, unless you're just an atheist and you absolutely hate God, and I beg of you, don't click the thumbs down, even if you don't you know, appreciate my music and the words because there's there's a message behind it. You know, if, if you don't 
like my music and you want to say something to me, by all means, there is a comment section. The comments are turned on. You can comment. And I promise, if you want me to respond, I will respond to you. All right? But please don't check the thumbs down deal. I, I would be very grateful for the heart, the thumbs up, whatever. Be very grateful for as much view time as possible. And keep in mind that with any of that that you do, you are also being a, a testimony for God. Because by doing so, it helps me to fulfill the, the plan that God has for my life in spreading this message. Folks, I uh, feel inspired to uh, do something that I haven't done in any of my previous videos. <coughs> and that's to uh, end this particular video with prayer. So that's what I'm going to do right now. If y'all would lift your heads in prayer, I, me personally, t to bow the head is to, I, I don't know, just be shameful and kind of look down towards hell so to speak me personally I, I don't know I can't explain it don't know why but I always like to lift my head when I pray as if I'm looking to God and talking directly to him so instead of asking y'all to bow your heads I'm gonna ask you to lift your heads close your eyes and pray with me or or let me pray and just agree with me father I come to you this day and one I start this off by asking you Lord to forgive me of my sins and I ask you to forgive the sins of all of those listening to this video watching this video Lord I ask you to come into our hearts remain into our hearts always keep a conscience about us Lord don't let us fall to the wayside don't let us get too overtaken by the world I help us to remain patient and calm in all that we do. Hey, you know, it's so easy to, oh, I'm bored of this, and oh, maybe I'll come back to it later or whatever. And I, uh, you know, when it, when whatever it is could possibly help somebody. But when we do that, we never come back to it. Now is the appointed time. Now is the time to take a stand. Now is the time to take action and do something. Procrastination will get us nowhere. Procrastination will not get souls to heaven. Procrastination will do no good at all. So Lord, my prayer here with this is Lord, do not allow me nor my viewing audience here to... Uh, to procrastinate in anything that you put upon them their hearts to do Lord whether it be anything in regards to my videos or the videos you have given me to produce or anything else to do with spiritual or inspirational things that could possibly potentially help somebody else down the road I pray that the, the spirits of procrastination be cast out of me and anybody else watching this. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, Lord. And we do pray, Lord, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, because you say that if we ask anything in your Son's name, that it will be granted to us. As long as we do not ask in Amos to consume upon our lusts. I don't believe, Lord, that anything I prayed for here today is, to, is, is of a selfish nature to be consumed upon our lust. I sure ain't praying for a new Lamborghini or anything like that. I ain't praying for a million bucks. I don't believe my viewing audience is praying for the, for that either. Yeah, we could laugh. Ha ha, it'd be nice, you know. No, in reality, I don't want a million bucks. It just, I know what would happen if I was rich. I don't want to be rich. I want to be, I want to be comfortable. You know, I want to be rich. But Lord, if the day ever does come, Lord, on a personal level, <clears throat> that somehow or another I, I do obtain that degree of wealth, I pray, Lord, that, that this, this adamant, 100% adamant drive I have 
that no matter come hell or high water, I will never fall prey to the music industry and what they got to say. And you're only going to make it if you do things our way or this way and that way. You know, Lord, I pray that you keep me in check. You keep me focused 100% on you. And no matter what anybody says about how rich and famous I might could ever be in life, you keep me humble and you keep me telling them, uh-uh, no. I'd rather be a martyr. I'd rather lay down my life. I'd rather lay in that ditch out here and be homeless than to produce music talking about my dog died and I'm doing meth and my girlfriend or wife broke up with me or whatever. I oh, That ain't who I am. That ain't who I want to be. Also, Lord, is this, is this, uh, as you work in this industry uh, and things progress in this industry, Lord, I do pray that you keep me from being like so many musicians, so many uh, reality stars and whatever, in the sense that, uh, Lord, please do not let me do not allow me to fall prey to drugs and, and, and alcohol and that lifestyle. That is not who I want to be. That is not who I intend to be. But Lord, I do understand that Satan, he's a, just as, he's, he's pretty powerful himself. And he will work very hard and diligent to be, make me out to be just that type of person in order to be able to put a, a bad name upon your name. And I pray that you do not allow that to happen to me, Lord. Lord, I pray that you put it upon everybody else's conscience. This is kind of a funny prayer here because I don't think I've ever prayed this way. But, Lord, I pray that you put it upon all of my viewers' hearts to continue to pray for me nonstop and to remember me in their prayers at mealtime, at nighttime, in the morning time, and pray that I will continue on being an inspiration for you, an inspirational speaker for you to win countless souls to your kingdom. All right, and we, uh, and if you agree to what I have prayed out there to my viewer audience, I ask that y'all agree with a big amen. And with a God's kind of love, I love all of you, and y'all have a blessed day.